Hey everybody, welcome back. Check it out. Here we have a battery powered transfer pump. So this is going to go on your fuel can, five gallon can, whatever. And then this is going to pump your fuel. That way you're not holding heavy jugs, holding them up, spilling them out the spout, doing all that BS. I've been having that problem with my boat and a couple other things. So I decided to step up, get a pump and just work smarter, not harder, right? Here's some specs for you. 2.4 gallons per minute. So a five gallon can is going to take about two minutes. Four AA batteries not included is what it's going to take. It says it has automatic shutoff function. Anyway, here's the box it comes in. Lots of people like to see how things arrive for the unboxing, so we're going to do that on this channel. But, um, Make sure you check out the links down below in the description if you're ever interested in anything in my videos. Here's your little manual. Here's kind of what it looks like. So it looks like it has LED lights, on off button, switch cover, battery cover, intake hose, yada yada. Some of the reviews people are saying it doesn't fit their um, fuel can just right. I know that the fuel cans come with a couple different kind of plugs on them. Or cubs, plugs, caps. So I'm not quite sure how that all works yet. So I don't think it probably matters that much unless you're planning on leaving it on something forever. That's all that's in the box. It's just the unit here. It looks like, well, it does if you look in there, it's got some uh, sensor. So it must be once the fuel hits that, it shuts it off. I see so there it clips in so it don't come out okay well, that's pretty cool Good deal. so then you've got your cover here so on is just a push button off is you got to really push that one in here's your light and then up here is gonna be where your batteries are gonna go so let's go ahead get four double A's and uh, then we'll see how it fits on a fuel can. So the pump is, okay, it's a little pump down here in the very bottom. Interesting. All right, let's check it out. easy all right so one of the reasons i got it was to put diesel into my tractor so i don't have to sit there and hold these cans at an angle or these stupid things you put too much pressure on them then they leak out of here right so today that ends so pump goes in the tank piece of cake and then so we'll see if this actually fits on my tank. And it does. Okay, so that's all that's to that. Now we'll go over to the tractor and fill her up. Okay. So you can also use this little clippy. Helps to hold things in. So it holds that in. And I noticed too, like when you close the lid, it pushes the off button. So you can slam it shut, I think. But here goes nothing. She's fueling. Let's get you guys off of here. That he broke a gas, well, diesel in my case. Great. Let's test it. Yep. It's 
is so much nicer than having to hold that can up there. I'm just looking in there to see how much is in there. This is so much better. See my five gallon can here. It's over half empty already. Doesn't take too long. We're a little over a minute into the fuel. Should only take two minutes, right? Isn't that what we determined? See if it shuts off. It's coming right up to the nozzle. It did. And beeped. Hey. She's full. Fantastic. So, do will it go again if I hit it? It will. Okay. I don't want to because it's full. Gotta love that. That worked. Drain the rest of the fuel back into the can there. What I'll probably do is take this unit out of here. So I'll find a bag or box or something to put it in. So I don't want to just leave it in the fuel because I don't fuel this tractor up too often. Especially with winter and um, you know bad weather coming in, whatever. It's not going to be something that's going to be happening too often. But pretty stoked about that. So like, comment, subscribe. Check out the links down below in the description if you're interested. And uh, let me give you a couple more tips here that I read in the manual before we close out. So the compatible liquids, you know, the flow rate, we already went through that, but resetting the pump. Let's take out all the battery. This must be if you have an issue of some sort. Um, because it automatically turned off on me and I didn't have to do any of this, just hit the off button. But here's some tips when storing it. You wanna make sure nothing's in the pump, wipe it down, yada yada, remove the batteries. Um, I would probably remove the batteries anyways in between uses unless you use it all the time. Never know, we're gonna to need to put some gas in your lifted vehicle here. So trying to hold this gas can up at chest height, not so much fun, done it before. So let's just go ahead and do it the easy way because we can. There we go. Hands free operation. Gotta love it. It also screwed right on this can no problem. So it fits a lot of different cans so far. I haven't found one that hasn't fit. So it's been working great for me. I definitely recommend it. Alright, there you have it. Just pumped five gallons in there. Piece of cake. Um, pretty happy with this. Can't wait till come this summer using it in my boat because I usually have to put two or three of those five gallon cans in by hand holding them up. You know, the sucky those new um, expensive spout types are these days that go slow. So yeah, stoked. So there you go guys. Hope you found that useful. Links down below in the description. Make sure to subscribe. And leave me a comment. We'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for stopping by.